Hello and welcome to another instructional video from ifdaboss.com. In this video we're going to show you how a Canadian user would set up and use the account. So I'm going to sign in with my freshly created account. The first place it will take you is to the company info tab. On that tab, you're going to enter your company name, street address, city, state, or province. Obviously, this will be a province. Postal code. And very important, you must choose metric measurement. Click save. And it will tell you that you need to enter at least one truck now by clicking the trucks tab above. Click the trucks tab, add a new truck. We'll call it C1. If you have a multi-truck account, you can add more trucks. I'm going to do that now just for example. C2. Now we can make a return just like we normally would on any other account. Click Returns, New Return, choose the quarter, and it will begin a new return. Remember that when you're in a Canadian account, the Canadian dollar conversion is already done for you. In addition, you will see the metric system in use, hence adding kilometers, we'll call this Truck C1 Trip 1. And we'll say we drove on both sides of the border. And I'll do some miles here in Colorado. Or should I say kilometers? Some in Arkansas. We'll add some on the Canadian side of the border. And then we'll add some fuel. Remember that since we are in uh, the metric system, you will be entering your fuel in liters and not gallons. Say we got 123 liters in Alabama, and we're going to get Five hundred and sixty seven liters here. And finally, you will continue to put in all of your kilometers, all of your liters. You will click final report. And here is your final report formatted for IFTA filing. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much.